Hi GeForce, I'm Julian at Xor Studios booth here in the business area and I want to talk about the game Xmorph. So I brought over Pavel Lecky to tell me a little bit about the game. First off, what is Xmorph? Xmorph is the combination of twin stick shooter and a tower defense game. So we've got fully destructible environments and there's plenty of action and strategy involved. So why did you decide to combine these two different genres of tower defense and twin stick shooter? We like tower defense games, the strategy aspect, but sometimes when you play these games you get bored because uh, you've set up your maze, the, the enemies are going through that maze, but you really can't do anything. So we decided that it would be great if you could shoot at these enemies directly and uh, feel that moment when, when they are attacking you with direct action and we think that's also a great playground for co-op gameplay. So you can play Xmorph in split screen, one of the players can take care of the tower setup and the other can uh, shoot at towers directly. They can also uh, divide roles, one of them can gather extra resources or the and the second one can, can shoot at enemies. So there are plenty of combinations and we think that this kind of setup makes the game a lot more interesting than just pure tower defense or just a simple shooter. So when you're setting up your defenses, you have this fully destructible environment. How does the, the environment itself play into the strategy of when you're putting everything together? It's actually an essential part of the defensive setup because you can collapse entire buildings into your enemy's path. If you cut down a building at its base, we simulate that. Uh, all of the tension, compression, etc. It realistically falls down to the ground and blocks your enemy's path. You can use them to your advantage or you could, for example, blow up a bridge with your enemies on the bridge. They will fall down and afterwards they will have to find a different route to your base. So you say they find a different route, uh, so they're not just going to march right into your waiting you know, defenses or anything like that, they're actually going to adjust to what you do on the fly? Yes, that's true. Uh, we've got really cool adaptive AI, so aside from the physics simulation and the destruction, we're also doing some advanced calculations for pathfinding. Enemy units are smart, they will find uh, the best route to your base, so we will have to plan accordingly. You have a really good opponent fighting against you, so you'll really have to take advantage of both of your towers and the environment. So when you switch to the action phase though, how does the environment and the towers you set up affect that game? You can connect towers with laser fences. This is also one of the unique mechanics in the game. So when you see the enemies coming at your base, you can set up your towers along their path, connect them with laser fences. They will change their path. Plus you can add the destructible environment to that and they, they will react. So you can funnel them where your actual Exmor fighters waiting and take them out, right? Exactly. So the twin stick aspect of it, you, your fighters actually also adaptable and dynamic, right? Yes, that's true. The Exmor fighter can change into four different forms. They each specialize in the type of enemies that they're best at. So you can use the plasma fighter, which can shoot at all types of enemies and charge a plasma ball that can destroy a lot of enemies on its path in a, in a straight way. So that's one of the most arcade forms of the shooter. Or you can, for example, use the dark matter bomber, which can shoot at ground enemies, create a lot of splash damage, destroy them all at once and it can also charge up a huge dark matter bomb that can destroy entire buildings and bridges and it can also slow down time. We've also had some fun with gravity effects. For example, the third form, the laser destroyer, can charge up gravitational singularity. So when you release it, it creates a miniature black hole. It sucks everything inside. Smaller enemies that come into its range are actually ripped apart. We've got them cut up into pieces so a single tank can break up into 20, 30 pieces. All of that debris is physically simulated. It swirls around that gravitational singularity and collides with the environment. So uh, we've got really a lot of stuff going on. It sounds like between the tower setup and the actual action phase, you could have a lot to take care of, but you mentioned this is co-op, right? How would you maybe make use of having two players on the battlefield? Yeah, yeah, you can actually combine these powers from these different types, these uh, forms of the Exmor fighter. So, for example, one of the players can use the time slowdown ability from the Dark Matter Bomber, and in the same time, the second player can charge up a plasma ball attack and align it with a group of enemies. A lot of strategy for you and a friend. When can people actually play Exmor? 
it's coming on August 30th to Steam, Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. That's right around the corner. So you guys, Xmorph Tower Defense Twin Stick Shooter with a friend coming right at the end of the month. Get your hands on it. Thank you so much, Powell, for talking to us today. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching GeForce. More coverage coming at you from Gamescom.